Students across the country are holding the semester remotely, but some students who signed leases to rent off campus apartments <laughs> cannot get out of their contracts. Boy, the law isn't on their side, but CBS2 consumer reporter Christine Lazar looks at the problem and what options students may have. Before the pandemic, Aaron Brown of Inglewood was an honor student at Clark Atlanta University and cornerback on the football team. In June, Brown signed a lease at an off-campus apartment complex, thinking he would be going back to school. The school said that everybody will be able to come on campus. But a month later, the university decided to go all remote, and Brown lost his athletic scholarship. He called the apartment complex. I told them, like, I'm an out-of-state student. I live in Los Angeles, California. That's where my family lives here. I live here, and I want to see if I can break the lease. Brown has a single mom, and they are now on the hook for about $12,000. In an email, the property manager wrote, we will not be canceling your lease agreement. The decision is final, and he will not be responding to any further calls or emails. Like they're just pretty much taking our money and running away. They forced us to pay knowing that we cannot even go out there for school. Marty Rudoy is a real estate attorney. A lease is a contract and contracts are enforced by the courts. But he says students may have an out. There's a concept called frustration of purpose where if the purpose of the contract was to provide student housing and there's no need for the student housing, well, maybe that's an out. Uh, there's a concept in law going back to the 16th century called force majeure, which means if there's an act of God, your performance could be excused. Cal State Fullerton student Kaylee Hanzich signed her lease back in February, well before the pandemic. And I don't think any of us even imagined this happening last year when we were signing our leases. When her dad tried to cancel in July, he was told no, so he hired an attorney. And the settlement offer was three months of rent, so it was approximately $3,500 to get out of the lease. Elena Pop with the nonprofit eviction right defense now, network says her office has been flooded with calls from desperate students stuck in leases. In the end, we think that what we need is a legislative fix. Pop is telling families to walk away from their lease. We have a lot of concern for the mom and pop landlord who is facing the inability to pay their mortgage. But these are major corporations. These are corporations that have the capacity to absorb these losses. Both attorneys say the colleges also have a responsibility that they often refer students to these off-campus apartments and they should try to work out a deal with them so the students aren't stuck with these leases. Christine Lazar, CBS2 News.